All right, guys. Hey, a little Sunday fun day time here. A little non-farming talk. Did anybody watch anything of the 2020 Democrat presidential uh, debate? That that <laughs> I'm not gonna say much about it, other than never have I seen or thought I would ever see a, a group of presidential of wannabe presidents work so hard to pretty much tell every American, piss off, we don't want nothing to do with you, and to hell with America. I'm, I, that's, you guys, the level of stupid on that stage was beyond belief. And uh, basically all I was told was, <clears throat> why bother try to work hard and be successful? We're just going to destroy you anyhow. That's that's what I got. You guys leave your comments below on it. Short, short. I, I could go on for hours on what a what a shit show and disgrace. How about that? How about an absolute disgrace of what that was? Um, Ilhan Omar gets deported. <sighs> the day that that headline comes out and it's true, I will do a Chris Farley cartwheel. Um, again, not going to get a whole lot. You guys leave your comments below on what you think. Uh, I can tolerate that she married her brother to commit immigration fraud to become a citizen and then somehow gets elected. However that works. Maybe her brother in arms, Keith Ellison, um, another good Muslim who beats, beats women as part of being a good Muslim. Um, I can tolerate that they both swore on the Quran instead of the Bible. That's their religion. This is America. That's the greatness of America is, is you know, separation of church and state is what the stupid a-hole media will say. But no, it's you have the freedom of religion of your choice. The government does not have an imposed religion. Um, I, I, can, I can tolerate, hope she's held accountable for her... Um, finance fraud and other charges that are happening um, but but when she votes against America fundamental values and against the Constitution to support Sharia law goodbye goodbye somebody get her some concrete swimming shoes and toss her into the water um, when you vote as a human being as a general human being, when you vote to block a bill that would make mutilating children's genitals illegal, that shows what level of, you are no longer human. When you vote that way, you are no longer human. You, you, you don't deserve the right to be in America. I, I'm sorry. You, you just need to be strung up and quartered by horses like medieval times because that's the type of well that's what you voted for by voting against that bill you voted for medieval times type sharia law and so you should be treated as such and goodbye you know good riddance to bad rubbish i i i would have no i will never i i never want any harm on any human except them <laughs> when you if that's how you treat children and that's how you treat other humans by beheading on live camera having your children teaching your children to play soccer with a human head if I was president I would have dropped a nuke years ago we would have had a big old ashtray out around the world big just turn that sand to glass don't care guys I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> leave your comments below.